and shit. Isn't Japan super young? Like, what the fuck, young? Fuck! Oh, Attack God. Of the show is nearly on every day! There's hardly new content! X-Play is nearly on every day! What is going on with this guy's voice? Well, I know it's pitched down, but why does it sound like he's on the toilet push pushing out a log as he's doing this? Yeah, I'm, this will probably be my final video of the evening. Everything is with peace! Number eight. Scott DeWaz Strange Edits! <gasps> yeah, I passed and pre-ordered on Amazon. Uh, guess when I got it? After the shipping delay? Right now. I did finally fulfill 2014 Scott's wishes and found a new copy of the Smash Wii U collector's box. Yeah, I passed and pre-ordered on Amazon. Uh, guess when I got it? After the shipping delay? Right now. I did finally fulfill 2014 Scott's wishes and found a new copy of the Smash Wii U Oof, yeah, that's an oopsie. The collector's box. Of course, being battery powered meant more times than not when I'd want to play one of these things, I'd pull it out of storage and go, oh, fing shit, I left this thing on for a month. Of course, being battery powered meant more times than not when I'd want to play one of these things, I'd pull it out of storage and go, oh, fucking shit, I left this thing on for a month. Of course, when talking about games. Oh, I, I wish we could live in the days of YouTube where you could say fuck and shit on a regular video. I like Scott the Waz. I enjoy his stuff. Um. But yeah, it's still a fuck up on G4's part. Games that are lost and can't be played anymore. Everybody has to mention Club Penguin, an online game where you just bro out with other people all displayed as penguins. Of course, when talking about games that are lost and can't be played anymore, everybody has to mention Club Penguin, an online game where you just bro out with other people all displayed as penguins. Number seven. Adam Sess is hardly in the studio for his own show. That is true. That ain't trolling, that's some real shit. And the thing is... <laughs> look, I don't like or dislike Adam Sessler. Slayer. The guy unblocked me on Twitter and it's... He doesn't follow me or anything. It is what it is. I don't care. Let him do his... He's going to fall... He's, he's unhinged though, I will say that. I may just made a video on it. You should go check it out. Uh... But, what are you doing? Like, why are you just in your own fucking... And the thing is, like, I was... That's what that's the topic I was on. The, like, the, the most of the gaming community can't stand him. Did you really think he was gonna be a draw? It's not 2003 anymore. Yeah, he looks so thrilled to be here. I bet you he got, like, a six-figure con... Mm. Nah, he probably got like a like a fifty thousand sign-on bonus, maybe seventy. He's not like, no, nah, that's not true. Cause man, there were, I read when I was doing research for that story, they were saying there were some motherfuckers they had to pay twenty five grand, twenty five grand for a day's worth of work for a video to get like thirty thousand views. <laughs> Now, if you're a YouTube loser like me and you only have yeah, one editor that you gotta pay, so you can live off one plus that live stream use. too. You can live off that if you combine it with use. live stream. You are not sustaining where you have guests on that for one day of shooting, they want 25 grand. GTFO, man, get the fuck out. There's no way that's sustainable unless you're getting like Damn. 2 million views a video. Another episode of X-Play Live. As always, I am Adam Sessler. Sessler, live from the San Francisco cesspool, and eventually the Hello. Black Okage. With... Yeah, thanks, Mantha. I, myself, am in my cozy cesspool in the tower to For a day. 20, not like 25 grand a month. A day. A day. Game oh, Haven of San Francisco. Number six, bringing in the politics vibe. Power right, now available. Yeah, like, look, man, I'd lean left, but why would you just wake up and just choose violence like that? 
I mean, I, I did something when, uh, because oh, you, you saw all these right wingers after Musk took over putting up this stupid shit. So I put up, um, <laughs> I'm pro choice, I'm pro Medicare for all. If you don't like it, you can eat a dick. But that was like just reciprocating the assholishness I saw yeah, on the other side. Come on, I'm allowed headline. to do that. <laughs> Weird. How does one drink a fart? So the Terrence essentially, you say strange yeah, things, I mean, and often I, I just kind of like, oh, that's yeah, Terrence just more, saying I mean, something strange. Yeah, you actually have a football um, person, and not just like another statue up there. But that means that you're drinking diarrhea, then, dude. I just want to let you know, Danny the Foot. Thank you for the wiener. I appreciate it. Number five. No Morgan Webb and no Olivia Mon. Because they saw the fucking train wreck. They knew. First off, Olivia Munn is kind of sort of a list Hollywood celebrity. A minus. Um, and Morgan Webb was probably like, yo, fuck that, man. This is the like they're trying. Like, you can't recreate the nostalgia. Like, okay, it says the logo G4. People will tune in because there's a couple people there from G4 who still do that. One of the three who's still like Adam Sessler. And then they're going to move on. It's not the same. It's a different time too, like I always say, because now you have 8 billion different fucking channels that offer better content than what G4 offered back then and what G4 offers even now. It's definitely what they offer now. Next yeah, day, a former same. vice president is telling you there will never be snow on Mount Kilimanjaro again sure. because you drove to a supermarket a block and a half from your house, and however carbon neutral your lifestyle is, the mercurial wind. God, I remember the hype for motorsport. That was supposed to be one of the other. This is the reason why you want a PS3. It's not a bad game, but. Days of weather are never going to change. Snowstorms, sandstorms, and on really bitching occasions, motor storms. As in our next game. Oh, Strawberry, I can't wait to plow your fields. Oh, James, you had me a plow. <laughs> oh, James, oh, look at that. Oh, you're just so hot. Fuck. You, James, ever. Thanks. You're going to get a Series X? Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm not British. No, you're not. <laughs> no, American. Number four, ignoring the gamers. What do you use the other one for? What do you use the other one for? That was hard. What? See, this part oh, yeah, always. Like, what? Oh, subscribers only so mode. You have to be there for. Yeah, oh, never do that. Even if you're going through some, like, e drama, which if you get a following on YouTube, you will. Don't do, like, the subscriber shit where you have to be a subscriber for a certain amount. Like, you're just end your channel. I almost did something like that when I was super feeding the trolls back in 2016. Where I was going to, uh... Alright, something coming. Stop comments. That would have killed my channel completely. Yeah. Number three. Better gaming content on YouTube and Twitch. Well, that's true. The Nintendo Wii Mini would be an interesting footnote in Nintendo history. It first appeared exclusively in Canada in December of 2012. Hey guys, Mel Jesus here. Now today I'm going to share with you my entire Dreamcast game collection. Especially because we did Absolute Zero on Cornell, not Violetta. Uh, so hopefully she's in the same row as him. So this will hit both. Yeah, it, it's true. What the fuck do you need to go to G4? I was just saying this before. Hey guys, so I've been putting this off long enough. And I finally started playing Castlevania 64. You are given a Pokédex to attempt to fill up by Professor Rowan, as well as a starter Pokémon with Turtle, Pip-Up, and Chimchar being the Grass, Water, and Fire types offered to you in order to then have a chance of defeating the Elite Four. 
This scene, for instance, sees a two to five. Yeah, they can't come near Digital Foundry. Not by a fucking mile. Five FPS performance difference between the lowest settings and the highest settings. Number two. The game reviews are two. Isla from Bayonetta 3. Who the fuck is that? I haven't played Bay I bought it, haven't played it yet. I haven't had time. I've been fucking with another piece of tech. Uh, Rich, you tweet about mental health was great. Men need to speak out. Be my bubble and give me <laughs> Yes. I'm never blowing bubbles ever again. And big taints. Well, it was weird, man. Like, someone was saying something about, like, meds have ruined me and all this stuff. And let me tell you something now, you know, I see a psychiatrist and it's done a shit ton for me. I'm not perfect. Believe me, I, oh, I'm fucked. I, I'm an entertainer. Of course, I'm fucked up in the head. But it's just so like, that's the thing. It's like the same thing going back to hot dude cam, modern life dating. I'm I'm a man. I don't need to deal with mental health. There's that that's that's why I oh look he's showing up with the super chat right now. That's what irritates me about those dudes is that they're they're trying to brainwash people that this stupid fucking like 1960s stereotype is a real man. Get the fuck out of here with that. Sitting there, bro hey, I had to be COVID isolation and I had unprotected sex with someone else who had COVID that I just met because. Because alpha male. Like, what? I don't know, man. Slayer. Anyway. Too I finally found a home in one of FromSoft's best games, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is the final installment in the Dark Souls trilogy. Yep. Well, I don't mind them reviewing older shit. It's the charisma. Like, is Scott the Waz reviewing new shit? <laughs> was was I reviewing a new exciting product with this fake hard drive? It's a... Uh, yeah, this narrator sounds like he is pushing out a log, Julie V. It's... I'm not saying I have... Like, I hate sounded like I'm patting myself in the back. Now, I'd watch it on stream. Danny the Foot. It's kind of weird because, yeah, um, I still think Keffels is cool. I stepped away from it, though, because I just saw shit on Twitter, and I'm like, I've been in too much drama this year. I don't need any more, and everyone in that battle is so fucking polarized that I'm just here. I mean, I give takes. I just gave takes in this stream, but... Sometimes you gotta know which you gotta pick and choose the right battles. And I just wasn't in the mood. That ham fisted segue is out of the way. Let's talk about Resident Evil 7. One of those games was 2018's God of War. A fresh new take on a franchise. Yeah, I'm not gonna agree with this one. You, you can talk about old stuff, and if you're interesting, it doesn't matter. We love back in the yesteryears of X Play, and after a nice long break from the spotlight. Couple trips to an anger management seminar and failing a Mori Povich paternity test. The franchise has returned in a big way. It can be hard to capture the magic of something you did so well in the past and improve upon it. I mean, not that I'm speaking from experience. Our review begins right here. With Borderlands 3, a whole new set of vault hunters, more weapons and violence, and most importantly, me. Number one. Maybe we have surprises in store for this week, and I have to focus on them. One. Ah! The finally he pushed out the lot. God bless him. Can you review my? Can you review my shoulders? They need relaxing. I'm sorry, but I can't say what I want because my chat gets censored. Oh, I know. Your shoulders. Try to relax your anus. Try to relax, Try to relax your, anus. your anus. Lost the 
Yeah, it wouldn't have been good. Sexism in gaming. And joining G. Like, Gamergate should just never be talked about ever again, no matter what side of it you're on. For I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us. I can see you without it. That's interesting, Terrence. You just found the guy. Doubt there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. It's somehow talk to him, Frost. It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how. That is wrong. I don't care what you look like. I just care if your content is interesting. I don't care. I don't care about your gender. I don't care about your race. Just make good content. Frost makes me reverse come. Like, I don't care whether it be ASMR, whether it be game reviews. I mean, did you think I used to watch Classic Game Room because I thought Mark from Classic Game Room, Mark Bustler, was sexy? Maybe. But you, you get my point. I'm just being an asshole. You get my point. I'm like, jerked off to women as a compliment. That's it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist. Almost as weird as jerking off in nothing but your Timberlands. Rich, I've been a fan for years. The only YouTuber that I ever really watched. Can I have a? Yeah, that's actually a good topic. No, Daddy, no. It's like he's saying, "No, don't let this spark come out of my ass." What's weird is you have 300 mods. You know what's even weirder? Is that I don't have to worry about my chat. I trust all the mods that I have because they've been around for a long time. And I don't really moderate my chat anyway. Unless you're putting up someone's address, threatening to beat the shit out of somebody, or putting up like any kind of personal info, I leave people alone. It is very rare I'll mod someone for being an asshole. Like, you need to be a consistent, like, absolute nightmare of an asshole that totally derails everything by going way over the top. Like, it, there is a high bar for me to just block you. Uh, I jerk off to straight Christian women. <laughs> yeah, I see what you did there. Is Milo Yiannopoulos... Oh, no. I don't want... I don't... It gets on my nerves. ...to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to... No, David G, not yet. You need to be around for a while. ...be nice on the eyes... There's even people who super chat to me mods and I turn them down. It ain't about money and it ain't about I have to know you for a while. ...eyes for you. I used to do something stupid. Like, I say, if you become a, a member, you can be a mod. Thinking that, like, oh, they're gonna pay for a membership. Obviously, they're gonna be on this now. There were trolls. Can I get a breast? You can get multiple breasts. 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 There you go. And that's just obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. I am thoroughly tickled. Richard, we need your mushroom tip. Um, I know if my suspicion that you really have a massive schlong and you. Nah, oh, bro, it's like a belly button flaccid. I'm a mod, I'm Twitch, I'm Timster here. Are you a mod? You, are you hinting that you want to be? I know who you are, and you've been around for ages. So, yes, I can be a mod. Adam will read a script. So, yeah, here is some advice. You have an audience, even if it's a lot of mods, but you know them, and you know they've been around for a while, and they're legit people, make them mods. It means you don't have to babysit. And like I said, I don't really mod my chat anyway, and my mods really don't unless you really go out of line. Uh, I've actually unmodded people for blocking people. You know? Morgan Olivia did swimsuit shoots. Of course they were nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And her... The thing that shot her... In the foot... Like, look, Morgan Webb was legit. She loved... She was into technology. She loved gaming. 
loves gaming, you know, 